Friends, have you ever been in a room full of people yet felt like you were the only one there? Have you ever been in a group but just felt no one understood you? No one believed in you, no one even noticed you? Maybe you are in a household full of people yet you feel like you are the only person living in it. Friends, they say that loneliness is a bigger problem than uh, poverty. Globally, we hear so much uh, about uh, poverty, and, and rightly so. Poverty is uh, a big issue around the world. However, we hear so much less on this topic of loneliness. It is something quite personal, yet there are so many people going through um, loneliness. In fact, as humans, we are designed to live in, in companionship. Going back to the days of uh, Adam and Eve, God actually created Eve for Adam. I remember in my deep, uh, dark days when I used to feel like there's no one around me, I was empty, no one understood me. Early as an adult, I used to go sit in the uh, park benches and just talk in the darkness to myself, talk to those crickets, talk to the stars, crying some days and, and hoping that a miracle would just happen, an angel would come and just fill my loneliness, fill that void, make people understand who I was, all, all the pressure, the expectations that you have that I was battling with. You know, days led to weeks, uh, led to months. And then all of a sudden I realized that, yes, it was me that was the answer to my own um, uh, loneliness. Everyone else around me had their own uh, share to deal with. Friends, I'm just saying this is my story, uh, that um, I decided that I had to be the solution to my own problems. I had to do something to start living life, to start being who I was created to be, start uh, finding a purpose for my life. At that time I decided to, to pick up some, some exercises, be more active and start being around uh, people a lot more. Because most of the times, as I felt all this pressure, these expectations, it was just my myself making those stories and isolating me from others. So I decided to change that. And I remember I started doing um, runs every morning. And that continued for, for quite a long time and even still today. Uh, I do my runs but a few, the, the frequency of it has um, has decreased quite uh, radically. However, I remember one of the most beautiful stories of my life came from that, uh, from those days. As I used to go running in the parks um, every morning, I just formed a habit. And fast forward to about 15, 20 years later, uh, almost recently, where I, I, I'm privileged to to have a workplace quite close to my home. So I walk uh, to work and um, one of these mornings about three years ago I was walking and I saw a, a man sitting in the bus shelter at the bus shelter and something inside of me said uh, to go and um, give him some money. And I got scared. I got really uncomfortable. How could I just go and walk to someone and say, here's some money for you. I could feel my heart racing as I walked closer to this person. Uh, and um, I could see as I drew closer that he was a homeless uh, man, uh, rugged clothes um, and, and looking rugged with beards, uh, overgrown beards and, and hair. That day I decided to just walk around him and go, I just couldn't do it. As I continued uh, to go to work uh, and, w and walking uh, to work, about three weeks I kept fighting against it and every morning th this person would be sitting at the bus shelter. 
but one day I, I decided that you no, know, this feeling inside of me is, is, is too overwhelming, too compelling. I need to go and um, uh, give him some money. So that day I was all prepared, I was all ready, I had uh, some money in my pocket, a jacket as, as I was walking uh, to work. And then as I drew closer to this bus shelter, I was hoping within me that that, man, that person wouldn't be there. But as, I, as my footsteps drew closer, ooh, that person I saw was sitting there, my fears just heightened, my heart started beating faster. But I was adamant, I was adamant to actually go and uh, give him some money. So as I drew closer to him, as I got to him, very reluctantly I went and I said, um, Hello sir, um, I just feel uh, like, like giving you some money. Uh, and um, as I did that, the most beautiful and humble voice came out and said no son uh, I don't need it uh, by then I had realized he was a homeless person he had boxes around him cartons um, with his overgrown beard and clothes and but I said no sir here's some money use it have a coffee or something and then what he said next just crumbled me he said son I know you it just took me aback and I said what how how can you know uh, how can you know me sir and he goes about 15 20 years ago when you used to come to those parks when you used to do your runs uh, I used to be sleeping under those trees and whenever you looked at me you kept smiling at me uh, you gave me a warm kind look and that gave me hope I was holding my tears back. Friends, what I'm saying is, is, is not that I'm a great person in any way, nothing at all. All I'm saying is, when you are going through difficult times, when you are feeling lonely, maybe just try. I know it's difficult as it can be. Try and be a blessing for someone else who is probably in your situation. And, and this is something that works uh, in, in, in various uh, circumstances as well whatever you're going through they say that try and help someone who is in your situation and it really helps now friends in my case as I went through those deep dark days of my life trying to figure out who I am took the responsibility to own my life and do things that will lift me up because I couldn't rely on others to to do things for me that will make me who I am I just hope friends that, that as you go through, as you listen to this sorry, and maybe for those who may be going through difficult times, uh, be it loneliness, be whatever it may be with uh, job losses uh, and through this COVID situation, uh, just know that there is hope. Uh, become the solution to your problems uh, friends and, and reach out there are a lot of uh, help available these days a lot of organizations uh, set up uh, there's a lot of uh, people uh, who are willing especially church groups through my through my deep dark times i found god god reached out to me in one of the most amazing ways and um, it just filled me up so my miracle did work whether it was me being someone else's miracle through uh, those runs in the park where I gave him hope uh, or as I discovered who I am as a person and where I stand today uh, talking to you um, journeying through those difficult times uh, friends I just like to say that find a purpose find who you are even through your difficult times if you are having uh, if you are feeling lonely even in your relationship talk to your spouse if you're feeling lonely if you're a single person reach out to friends reach out to community groups reach out to online groups and connect with people with similar like-minded um, thoughts uh, and ideas uh, as, as you do and trust me as you reach out as you become the solution to your problems uh, friends uh, you will be in a much better place Thank you for listening and I hope this little story has just um, helped you in a little way, given you a little light of hope uh, to know that uh, there is always hope no matter what your situation is uh, and um, 
keep well friends uh, and god bless thank you